Alrighty, hello everybody and welcome to our final science class of the year. We are learning today about a behavioral adaptation called being nocturnal. So the past couple weeks we've been talking about animal adaptations and we know that adaptations are ways that animals change either their body or their behavior to help them survive in their environment. So we learned all about different kinds of structural adaptations and this week we this week, we've been talking about behavioral adaptations like migration, hibernation, and today, nocturnal or being nocturnal. So that's what we're going to focus on today. And what does nocturnal mean? Well, animals who are nocturnal are mostly active at night. So that doesn't mean that they sleep through the whole day. Sometimes nocturnal animals um, will be up and about during the day, uh, but they mostly sleep through the day and then they uh, do their hunting and shelter building and most of their activity at nighttime. So nocturnal is the opposite of diurnal. Have you ever heard that word before, diurnal? Well, nocturnal, if nocturnal means night, or being active at night, then what does diurnal mean? Diurnal, being the opposite, means active during the day. So most creatures like you and me are diurnal, and then some are nocturnal. We also have some animals who are somewhere in between. We call them crepuscular. Crepuscular, and crepuscular animals are active um, at the twilight times or at dawn and dusk, so in between daylight and nighttime. So a lot of animals, hunters, um, predators like coyotes and lions and wolves and tigers uh, take advantage of um, the twilight hours or these transition times when the sun is rising and the sun is setting and they use that low light um, to their advantage when they're hunting. So why would an animal be nocturnal? Well, there are two main reasons why animals would have adapted this way. One is to escape the heat of the day. So in really hot environments like the desert or the savanna, um, it's much cooler at night. So some animals will come out at night so that they can sleep during the hottest part of the day. And other nocturnal animals are adapted that way so that they can hunt better. There's better hunting conditions at night, it's easier to sneak, and a lot of times their prey is sleeping and vulnerable at night. So basically, like any other adaptation, why would an animal be nocturnal? Well, just to help them survive the challenges of their environment. Okay, so let's pause our video and answer question number one. Why would an animal be nocturnal? What is the purpose of this adaptation? Alrighty, so let's talk about what kind of animals are nocturnal. Now it's worth mentioning that um, some animals will vary between being nocturnal and diurnal depending on their environment. So for example, we talked about how coyotes, some coyotes when they are in the wild, will be diurnal or active during the day um, because they're able to, but when the coyotes live close to urban environments um, or they're closer to cities, they oftentimes become nocturnal uh, because it's safer and easier for them to move about at night when humans are all sleeping and there's less traffic and less activity. So animals will be nocturnal depending on their environment. But this is a list of animals who are usually nocturnal or typically active at night. Owls are famous for being nocturnal birds. Coyotes, of course. Wolves. Jaguars. Tigers. Some lions. And again, sometimes these animals are purely nocturnal. Like jaguars, for example, they really do almost everything at night. Um, and then other animals like coyotes and lions um, are more crepuscular or they vary between being diurnal and nocturnal depending on the environment and depending on the day. 
So in this column, we see mostly predators and hunters. And then there's also different kinds of omnivores who are nocturnal, like bats and rats, possums, raccoons, um, and animals like porcupines and badgers. So lots of lots of rodents. Um, also skunks and hedgehogs, um, mice, tarantulas, different kinds of spiders, and other insects too, like crickets and cockroaches. So as you can see, there's a lot of animals um, from all categories in the animal kingdom who take advantage of the nighttime uh, to help them survive. Sweet. So let's pause the video and answer question number two. Name three nocturnal predators. Three predators. So that would mean hunters or carnivores, animals who are hunting and eating other animals for survival. Okay, so from this list, um, hopefully you chose one from this side of the list. Owls, coyotes, wolves, jaguars, tigers, lions, those are all nocturnal predators. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of these animals uh, specifically and go over their adaptations that allow them to be successful at night. First one is the owl, and owls are famous for being well adapted to the nighttime. First of all, they have incredible night vision. So those huge eyes are not just for um, sensing their prey uh, during the day, but they can actually see at night. Um, the way our eyes work is by letting in light and owl eyes are specifically adapted for night vision not only because they're so big so they can catch small amounts of light but they also have these little almost like tiny mirrors inside they have little reflective cells inside of their eyeballs and that allows the light uh, that they see to basically multiply inside of their eyes so even tiny, tiny, tiny bits of light um, show up perfectly clearly in their vision because they're able to capture and magnify those small bits of light. It's pretty cool. Um, another adaptation that helps the owl be so successful during the nighttime is their silent wings. They have feathers that are specifically adapted to make them perfectly silent when they're flying through the air and that helps them to sneak up on their sleeping prey. So they are, they're excellent hunters um, because of their great vision and their silent wings, and they have sharp beaks and sharp talons, which make them quite a threat to animals in the nighttime. And again, these are creatures, uh, all nocturnal animals. Um, you might see them during the day and you might see them at dawn and at dusk, um, just because they're nocturnal doesn't mean that they never come out or they're never awake during the day. Um, but they do most of their activity and most of their hunting at night. And what about spiders? This is a bit of a scary looking spider. Spiders are successful at the nighttime, not because of their vision. Unlike an owl, they actually have terrible vision. Um, at night and they can't see very well in the dark, but they are able to use their webs to protect themselves and also to hunt at nighttime. So they use the sensations of their webs to recognize and identify movement around them. And that makes them very successful at nighttime, even though they don't have very good night vision. It's also safer for a spiders to be um, building their webs at night. A spider is most vulnerable when it's trying to build its web and um, oftentimes spiders will be nocturnal so that they have uh, more protection and more safety while they're trying to build their web. It's not as easy for them to be hunted. And again, let's remember that 
the activity or these adaptations always depend on the environment. So this is not true of all spiders, not all spiders are no nocturnal, but a spider might choose to be nocturnal or become nocturnal depending on the needs of its environment. So um, only if it's helpful for the spider would it become nocturnal. Here's another famous nocturnal animal, bats. Bats are successful at nighttime, first of all, because of their echolocation. Now you might remember us talking about echolocation when we discussed ear adaptations, um, which is a structural adaptation, but bats are able to use echolocation at nighttime, which is basically like using sonar. They make small sounds with their mouth and wait for that sound to come back and bounce off of objects. So they're using that echoing sound or that reflected sound to locate things in their environment. So that means they don't need to be able to see well in the dark um, because they're using sound to see or sound to, to identify and locate things around them. So it's a very, very useful adaptation that helps the bats be um, active at night. Some bats, especially in the desert, also take advantage of night blooming flowers. Um, so many bats are omnivores and will not only hunt bugs and eat bugs at night, um, but they'll also drink nectar from flowers. So sometimes when there are flowers that bloom at night, um, that's perfect for a bat and they take advantage of that. And then another adaptation that helps bats um, be successful nocturnal animals is that they find shelter during the day. So oftentimes during the day um, bats will shelter in caves or um, in trees high up where they can be protected while they sleep during the day. Awesome. Okay, let's talk about one more um, nocturnal animal. Well, Lions actually are more crepuscular, so they will sleep a lot during the day in order to escape the heat of the savanna. So there are lots of animals in the desert and savanna who will be nocturnal or will be mostly nocturnal, so nocturnal or crepuscular, in order to escape the heat of the day. Uh, like jackrabbits, for example, will, be, will sleep during the day to escape the heat of the desert. So lions do this too. They're mostly crepuscular, so that means they're active at dawn and at dusk. So they take advantage of those twilight hours for their hunting. It's also cooler, right? It's cooler at dawn and dusk than during the day. And lions also have great vision. You'll notice that a lot of nocturnal animals have excellent vision um, because it helps them, you know, if they can see in the dark, then they're able to, you know, do what they need to do at nighttime. So lions have eyesight eight times better, eight times stronger than human eyes. And they can see even very small movements in the dark. All right, so pause your video. Let's answer the third and final question. Describe an adaptation of a nocturnal animal that helps it survive its habitat. So for nocturnal animals, you could tell me anything from um, night vision or being able to sense things um, with their web or sheltering in caves during the day. Um, all of those are great adaptations. Um, even an owl's silent wings, for example, or some animals have silent um, paws, like the big paws of lions and tigers and jaguars, um, help them to walk silently in, in their environment. So all of these different adaptations help animals to be successful at night. All right. Well, that brings us to the end of our lesson today and the end of our lessons for the whole school year. Thank you so much for watching and listening. I hope you learned something today about nocturnal animals. Um, like I say every time, it's so difficult to um, talk about every different animal's adaptation. 
um, because there's so much variety in the animal kingdom. So my goal with these lessons is just to give you just a taste of the many, many different ways that animals adapt to their environment and the many different um, abilities of nocturnal animals. So at this point, you are ready to take your DOL. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will talk to you later. Bye.